OpenAI just dropped their agent kit, so me and Minius wanted to check it out, share our honest take and see how it compares to our beloved tool any 10. Do you think this tool will be replacing any 10? Mm. Let's jump into agent kit and see what it can offer. Yeah, uh, I see we have uh, several templates uh, already pre-installed uh, once we log in. Uh, we have an option to create a new workflow, but maybe let's check uh, some template uh, what it has to offer for us. Okay, so this is a simple workflow. Uh, it has a start node. Uh, then it has an agent that does a web research, I guess. Yeah, and I see the instructions. Um, you are a helpful assistant. So yeah, uh, we can select a model. By the way, I think it's only, well, not I think, but it's only uh, OpenAI's models, right? Yeah, and in uh, NA10, you can choose from any... Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. It's Olama, it's, it's Claude, um, Anthropics uh, models. Okay, uh, so this agent does a research and then another agent summarizes it. Yeah. Uh, Summarize and display, include chat history. It uses a different model, as I can see. Reasoning effort is different. But still, in this case, um, I think, what does the start trigger? Uh, how, how, like, how does it work? Is it a manual? Is it a, an app trigger, a schedule trigger? I don't see uh, how we can define them. Let's see. Uh, input. It has input as a text, so it's probably a, some kind of a chat uh, trigger. That would uh, mm. call it a chat trigger in NA10. Yeah, but still, in this case, I have like a limited uh, understanding of, of how we can change those uh, triggers. I think it's pretty limited, don't you think? Or is it limited for us only? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I think currently there is uh, a limited set of tools here. Uh, of course, you can use MCPs. Uh, it gives additional options there. Uh, you can add uh, tools from Gmail, Google Calendar, uh, Dropbox. You can use third-party tools, but they all have to be verified by OpenAI. Uh, and this a little bit limits uh, out-of-the-box experience for you guys. Uh, I see there is an option to add a server. Mm -hmm. uh, so if there is an external MCP server running uh, somewhere on the internet that you can log into through access tokens or API keys, uh, you can attach any MCP server here, yeah. uh, but then again, uh, you will have to know those things and uh, it's not so easy and out of the box experience as with NA10, uh, who has, I think, 500 uh, different nodes. Yeah, five, 500 different applications, right? But it also has HTTP request node, which I, like, I don't see something similar here. Uh, well, MCP server is good, but HTTP request, if I have an API, uh, how do I do that? No, I don't no. think there is one. Yeah, I see file search, which actually uh, probably connects to a vector store that is already inside OpenAI. So maybe that's a bit like convenient, more convenient than, but not even necessarily because Anytan also has something uh, similar. Data I guess. tables. Yeah, new feature data tables. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see another uh, workflow template. Maybe uh, this will give us more insights mm -hmm. uh, how it could be used as an internal knowledge base agent. Uh, so we start with the chatbot input, then we rewrite the user's question. Uh, with the agent that rewrites user question to be more specific and relevant to the knowledge base. Yeah. Uh, and those agent nodes also can use different kind of tools and you can enable them to do a little bit more. Uh, but then again, I think, yeah, they are only limited to those uh, tools currently provided. How sad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but also looking from the logic side, it has only three options, if else, while on user approval. Um, I think it's pretty limited. Also, I don't yet fully understand how uh, the iteration works. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like you 
have drag and drop it. Yeah, and you can then just use the arrows to connect. Yeah, but I still, at this point, I do not understand how to interact with it. Um... So, Minius, do you think this tool will be replacing any 10? Yeah, to be honest, in my opinion, not in the near future, at least. I think it has uh, limitations with MCP servers, uh, only, you know, the allowed tools, no HTTP requests, external. I'm talking about external ones. I don't think it will replace any 10 anytime soon. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we should keep an eye on it. Uh, try maybe different uh, workflows, test it out, see what uh, we can build. And uh, But yeah, uh, I agree with you that I don't see this replacing my any 10 workflows anytime soon. And the template selection currently in here we have what? We have six yeah. uh, workflow templates yeah. and any 10 surpassed four or five thousand templates. Yeah, but it could be the reason because it has only six uh, templates because you cannot create anything with it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I don't want to roast. <laughs> so that's our take on Agent Kit for today. What do you think? Share your thoughts and first impressions in the comments and let us know if you'd like to see us do an Agent Kit versus any 10 challenge. In the meantime, check out our any 10 playlist and make sure to subscribe to Hostinger Academy to not miss out on new videos on Agent Kit. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.